Hello from the content team at QCS. I'm Emily Kerrigan, Domiciliary Care Policy Lead. I'm here to share with you some key highlights from the last month. For our customers in England, the rollout of CQC's new Single Assessment Framework, which was expected in January 2023, has now been delayed until later this year. Take a look at our news story on this, as well as our new posters to support with the new quality statement process and how these relate to each of the key questions. You can also visit the QCS CQC Information Hub for the latest news. As well as CQC developments, we have also seen COVID-19 guidance updates in England, which were specifically directed towards mask wearing and outbreak management. As a result, all the necessary policies have been updated, including the PPE, COVID-19 testing, coronavirus, visitors and outbreak management policies where applicable. The infection control policy and procedure has also been reviewed in light of these guidance changes and is the policy of the month of February for all regions. Important infection control practices are paramount to a safe and effective service. Please take a look at this policy as well as the useful forms and guides included within it to support you with your infection control practices. A selection of new blogs and content pieces are also available on the system including supported living care and support plans, easier said than done, which highlights what makes a good care plan. This also coincides with the release of our newly updated supported living care plans, so please take a look at these on the system. And as learning disability and autism continues to be a key topic within the social care sector, QCS have produced a blog, Autism and Learning Disability, We've Done the Training, Now What? which focuses on how mandatory training can become part of a care provider's culture. We also have a new contingency planning for emergency blackouts leaflet, as well as a top tips fact sheet to help those in your care stay warm this winter for our domiciliary care customers. And finally, be sure to take a look at our recent webinar on top tips to grow your business through tendering, which is aimed at domiciliary services and provides some useful tips to consider. Other past webinars can be found on the system in the Resource Centre and Managers tab, including in relation to falls and recruitment. That is all for this month's content highlights. Now here's an update from our product team. Thank you, Emily. I'm Terry Lawler, Chief Product Officer at QCS, and I'd like to add to what Emily has covered in a number of areas. Firstly, we have so much great content in Resource Centre that we felt it deserved greater prominence on the system and it now has its own place at the top level in our menu system. Hopefully you've seen that. Uh, we've also elevated reading lists to that top level in response to your feedback. We think you'll find these changes will make it easier to get to these highly valued areas of our system. Also as Emily mentioned for our customers in England the rollout of CQC's new single assessment framework is happening this year. And with our latest software update, if you're a care provider in England, we're helping you prepare for this transition by showing you the new CQC quality statements alongside the existing key lines of inquiry in the purpose section of every policy. And across the system, your policies can only be fully personalized to your business if you fully complete your system details. Most of you have done this, but if you're less than 100% complete and you're a power user or a standard user with system details permissions, you will start to see a pop-up appear to remind you to complete your system details so you can be QCS compliant. We've made this change because it is so important to fully complete your system details. And so if you see the pop-up, please do fill in the missing information so that you can be QCS compliant and get the most out of our system. And finally, if you have any feedback on our changes to your user experience with the system, or you have suggestions for future improvements, we'd love to hear from you. Email me directly at terry.lawler at qcs.co.uk or contact us through your normal communications channels.